Really appreciate it 100%, okay? Okay, nice one guys. So basically, I come to the supermarket and I brought some salmon. And what I did, this is gonna be part two of this salmon video. Because I get requested for the salmon video and I definitely wanna just get them out of the way. Um, yeah, that's what I wanna do right now. So I brought some salmon from the supermarket and I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I did with the salmon, all right? now. What you want to do with the salmon is all right, just simple. Grab a piece of a napkin and rest the salmon on it like this. All right, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this pineapple salmon. All right. Okay, so this is some ideas for you guys for Christmas. So basically what you want to do, you want to go to the supermarket, grab yourself some boneless salmon like this. Okay, once you can get yourself some boneless salmon, you are good to go. So we're going to be doing some boneless salmon. Estelle, thank you so much. So what you want to do, dry the salmon off like this, okay? Make sure them dry off. Then what you want to do, you want to put them back into the bowl like this, okay? So you have to make sure them dry and clean. Wash them off into some lemon juice. And I'm going to be showing you, you can do a lovely Christmas salmon. This is a requested video and I have to do the video. Coming a little bit tired, but I decided to do the video this evening because it's a video which need to get out of the way. Okay? Yeah. All right. Now, as you can see, that's the salmon. Okay? That's the salmon right here. All right? And I'm going to be showing you how to do this salmon. All right? It's just a requested recipe. And I said to myself, I definitely need to get rid of this recipe. All right. So guys, just watch this beautiful video with Chef Ricardo this evening. It's something different. And trust me, you guys gonna love it. All right. Yeah, girl, thank you so much. Little bit of olive oil on it. All right. Just a tiny bit of olive oil, not much. Olive oil. I'm gonna get two cubes of garlic. All right, two cloves of garlic. So if you don't have one of these garlic press, oh, you receive it, your package. Thank you so much, I'm happy you get that one. You're welcome. So I'm going to put two cloves of garlic in it like this. All right. Okay. So two cloves of garlic into it. All right. As you can see, guys, we got two cloves of garlic and that is really lovely. So what I want you to do is to share the video 
and tell a friend and a friend tell a friend if you're not a member of my youtube channel please join the membership okay yeah, yeah you need to please join the membership and support all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna get some lemon and we're gonna just just grate a, a little bit of zest of the lemon on it all right one all right so we got the garlic we got a little bit of olive oil and also we got a little bit of lemon zest on it all right and that is lovely now what we're gonna do we're gonna put on a little bit of pepper Some black pepper. Okay. Which you're gonna be needing some black pepper. We're gonna put on a little bit of herbs, some parsley. Alright. Oregano. And some basil. These are just bay natural herbs. All right, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put on some paprika. Just a pinch of paprika, all right guys, not too much. And right, what we're gonna do, we want to use a pinch of the hot cayenne pepper on it, all right? So that's gonna bring in a lovely little bit of spices to it. Oh my days, look, this is what I was looking for, all stars. And the enemies. All right. Um, some chili. All right. And this is gonna be some fish season. A little bit of fish season. this into this beautiful season right here all right and this is how it look and this is amazing it's just beautiful now this is how the fish look this is some salmon okay all right and as you can see i just caught them in it into that marinate them up into that beautiful different kind of herbs I'll just put a little bit of fish season on it just to show you guys what you can do at home very important recipe okay now let's come over my little bit of secret recipe over here and this is what we're going to be doing okay so what we're going to do this is some corn flour i've been using you can use breadcrumbs or you can use plain flour but i just like to use the corn flour i'm going to put a little bit of paprika on it and that's going to give me a beautiful goldish color when i'm going to fry it Okay, and if we even go into it with a little bit of parsley, a little bit of herbs, also with it. It's gonna just beautiful and nice. So what you wanna do, just mix it up. You don't need any salt because the season already have salt, okay? Yeah. Now, what you wanna do, get that beautiful salmon and just simple coat it into the corn flour, just like this, all right? just to make sure you see what's going on so it's just a lovely little christmas recipe if you're at home with your family you can do this one okay now let's put that one side all right and then we're gonna get the rest and we're just gonna coat them inside of it like this with the corn flour you don't have to use corn flour yeah all right guys you can use um plain flour or you can use um, breadcrumbs okay normally I would use some breadcrumbs but I don't have any breadcrumbs every time I forgot to get my breadcrumbs all right well you can use corn flour and corn flour works really really handy with it so you guys will love this new ideas 
okay? But if you're um, diabetic, I would encourage you not to try this. If you have any high blood pressure, do not try this one, okay? Yeah, so that's looking good. All right. As you can see, I'm just like coating it through the flour. To the corn flour, sorry. But as you can see for yourself that so far this looking good. Okay, all right. And this is it right here. So I'm gonna put this right here for the time being. And I'm going to move this one. I got a medium sized front pan on the stove right here. I'm going to put on some heat on it now. Some medium sized heat. All right. And I'm going to show you how to do this on an amazing recipe from Chef Ricardo cooking today. This is like Christmas recipes for you guys. Hans Cooking, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, we got my Facebook audience who will take the time and watch Chef Ricardo Cooking Show and learning something new. All right. Now, the corn flour is everywhere because, you know, that's the way you corn flour beef. So I'm going to be using some good extra virgin olive oil. All right. Inside of it, packed like this. Not too much oil, just a few tablespoons of the oil, okay? Do not use too much oil. So that's that's looking good. That's it right there. So basically, you need to get the pan a little bit warm before you can even start to fry it. Okay? So I'm cooking a little bit of rice, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do this on an amazing recipe. And it's totally something different. Where you guys can try at home, all right? As you can see, oh, I marinate up the fish. But the way I marinate the fish, to be honest with you guys, you, to be honest with you, you can also use your kind of season where you have at home. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, make your fish come out lovely and nice, just like mine. So you can use your little bit of season where you have at home. If you got all-purpose chicken season, whatever you have, once it's kind of work on the fish, you just put a little bit on it. Some mixed herbs and um, parsley, oregano, whatever kind of herb you have at home. Just use it. Trust me. All right. So the oil is not hot yet. As soon as the oil is hot, then we're going to fry the fish. And then we're going to go to the next level. So this is a very important recipe for you to get yourself a pen and a piece of paper to write down this part of the ingredients. I'm making a little bit of rice. All right. So... Next time I will show you guys how to do this rice. Because what I do? Boil up the rice, wash it off, boil up the rice, chew off the water, and then once I boil it, I wash it again to get rid of that cloud of, of the rice. Alright? Yeah, but it's a beautiful recipe, and I know you guys will love it. Alright? But I'm gonna be giving it a little bit of tweak. Because I got a little bit of sweet and sour um, sauce, which I'm going to be using on it. But um, I don't think I need to use this on it, to be honest with you. But yeah, I think the sweet and sour works really well with the pineapple. So this is going to be something more you never see in your life. All right. And I'm going to show you how to do this one because it's a brand new recipe. Alright, this side is hot, that side is hot, okay, alright, now, you'll never see no recipe like this in your life, guys, so, it's just very important for you to just, so I'm going to put in the fish now, alright, yesterday we do, I did a video yesterday, with the, um,
salmon and pasta. Very nice, look a unique recipe for you guys to try at home, all right? If you wanna try something different. So that's the salmon I'm being frying right now. Okay. Yeah. So just you don't want too much oil into it. You just want a little bit of oil. Just take a look at time and spin it over until you get that beautiful color where you're looking for. All right. Trust me. And it, you can smell that beautiful garlic. That beautiful garlic scent is just amazing. But the thing is, you do not want to put too much oil. Okay? Yeah. So I turn on my cooker now, really low, okay? Yeah, look at that. That is such a lovely recipe, guys, trust me. All right, now, what I'm gonna do, you do that when I overcook the salmon, the salmon them, so I'm gonna simply take them out from the pot like this. All right, don't overcook them. All right, now I'm just gonna wipe out this frying pan. Nice one. All right, and this is the frying pan. Now, so this is how I did the salmon them, and this is how they look. And you, and you don't overcook them, all right? You just want to get them that beautiful color. And once they have this beautiful color, you are good to go. Let's put them right there, okay? Now, we're going to go into some... This is where the, 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 the best part of it is going to come. So you need to see this part, how I'm going to be doing the salmon, the vegetables for the salmon. So you're gonna need to see how I do it, okay? Now, um, so what I did earlier, I went to the supermarket and I grabbed myself a few ingredients, okay? Just put a little bit of oil in the front pan, not much. Tiny bit of oil. So the front pan is a little bit warm, as you can see it for yourself, okay? All right, now, I'm getting some white onion cut up at the moment, okay? So you wanna dice up your white onion, not too chunky, but nice, lovely size. So that's the white onion. I'm so taking off the white onion. All 
All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some pineapple. And this is a pineapple. So you wanna dice up your pineapple into some small pieces. So this is what you want to do with the pineapple. So the pineapple and the white onion together. All right. Now, what we're going to do is my recipe so you can do your recipe you want to do it. I'm going to get roughly about two cloves. It's Christmas. So we're going to drop two cloves into the pot. All right. Bay leaf. All right. Yeah. Just put a few more pieces of a pineapple into the pot. All right. A little bit more heat. So I put a little bit more heat. So we got the white onion and the pineapple. We put some cinnamon, um, some. This, sorry, some cloves and some bay leaves. All right. Yeah. So you just want to saute off that really not lovely. We're going to go for some yellow pepper. some yellow pepper Green pepper. When I'm going to eat with some red pepper now. So I'm using the three bell peppers. We're gonna go in it with a piece of a ginger. Not much, just a little piece of a ginger.
And right here we got a little piece of a chili. We're gonna put this inside of it. Some chili. Oh man, the scent is amazing. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I got some tomato paste. I'm gonna put some tomato paste inside of it. All right. Favorite smell the scent is amazing. So you can smell that ginger, the pineapple, and the pepper, all right? Beautiful, turn on your stove a little bit. So you just wanna get that scent of the pineapple, burn off a little bit in the pot with the ginger, and that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor. Now, to be honest with you, I went to the shop and I see this, this um, sweet and sour sauce, okay? And it's a stir fry sauce. So I'm gonna give this a try. I never tried this one before, so I feel like I can just give something a try, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we're gonna give this a try. So we're gonna put in a little bit of the sweet and sour sauce inside of it. Once you do that, let's get a little bit of water and have to eat that. Maybe you don't have, have too much sweetness because remember the pineapple are so sweet. Just a little bit more. And then we're going to add a little bit more of the tomato paste inside of it. And this is going to just bring in a lovely flavor with the sweet and sour stir fry sauce. All right, let's put a little bit more to see what it's gonna come on, but that's looking really lovely. Let us add a little bit more of the, yeah. So go to the shop, get this sweet and sour sauce. It's a stir fry sauce and you can use this, all right? For less stress. So let's give that a stir inside of it, all right? And that's looking good. So let's take a look at time. Yeah, and let's stir into it. Mm. 
dark soy sauce. We're gonna put a little bit inside of it. It's gonna give it a lovely rich color. All right. Look at this color now. Nice and lovely. So, yeah, that's looking good. As you can see for yourself, we're gonna taste it and see where we are at the moment. We've got the pineapple. So let's taste it. Wow. Really nice. Really, really, really nice. Um, what I would do, I'm gonna put a little bit of the vegetable, vegetarian season inside of it. Just a tiny little bit of the vegetarian season. So go to the shop, get yourself some vegetarian season and you can also use it. And I didn't, I didn't use any salt inside of it, all right? The way you want to do, turn on the stove a little bit and put in the fish, all right? So what you want to do, get that sauce and just put it all over it. Look at that. All right, you see that? Okay, book chef Ricardo for cooking. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That is fantastic and an amazing. All right, you can't get these kind of food. No way. It's easy, guys. You have to cook this at home yourself. All right, let's dig into it and see what's going on with this now. All right, see? Oh, the salmon still is pink and looking nice. Yeah. Mmm. Wow, it's amazing. The flavor and the texture, everything that's coming together, bringing that lovely flavor. Wow, that is amazing. All right, that's so lovely. That's just a little bit more. And the lemon on top of it. Taste that lovely ginger inside of it is amazing. Wow. The ginger, everything is just so lovely. That is our. Amazing. I got some vegetable which I was gonna cook, but I do not wanna hold up the, the show too long. Alright. Yeah. That is lovely. That is something totally different. All right, now let's get this food shear up, all right? Turn off the cooker. Okay. No. Turn off that one. Mm. 
That is lovely. Wow. Now, look at this. Okay, guys. Let's shear up this on an amazing food. Okay? Yeah. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to shear it up. Okay? Now, yeah, this looking fantastic and amazing. So basically, I don't know how your host gonna stay this year for Christmas, but if it's just like, you know what I mean? Something simple you wanna do this Christmas. Why not? Why don't do it? Okay? Yeah, why don't do it? Nothing will stop you from doing this this christmas all right trust me you won't nothing can stop you for i do what you're gonna do this christmas nothing can stop you from do what you want to do this christmas only yourself can stop it all right. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna show you exactly how to serve this fantastic cooking at home. If you wanna just do something different this Christmas, this is for you. All right, now, this is fantastic. And an amazing guys so what you can do all right this is what's gonna happen something different look at this beautiful all right we're gonna put this into a you know what is this this is lettuce leaf do you ever try that other one before why don't try something this this year different? Yeah, and see where you are. Okay. Look at this. This is fantastic and amazing. All right. Look at this. Do you, do you want to try something totally this, different this year? Just try Chef Ricardo recipe, guys, and see if it works for you. Okay. That is so lovely. And not only that, to be honest with you, wow, that is amazing. If you want to try something different this year, and trust me, do this. All right? Let's do something totally different this year because, to be honest with you, that's what's going to make the difference. All right? To be honest. Now, something different this year on the plate wow so we got some poppy seed I'm gonna put some poppy seed on top of this like right, this okay not too much chef Ricardo all right that looking fantastic and an amazing guys trust me now, I got some broccoli, which I was going to cook off and put on it, but the broccoli is going to take a little bit of time. So, check, for, check tomorrow for the broccoli, and I'm going to show you exactly how to um, do your broccoli tomorrow, okay? Yeah. All right? I'll show you how to do the broccoli tomorrow, guys, because the broccoli is going to take... A little bit of time. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time. But what I wanna encourage you guys is to try something different this year. You know what I mean? And trust me. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Chef Ricardo. Nice one. 
some parsley. Let's try something totally different this year. And see if you will um, enjoy it, okay? Yeah, but to be honest with you, it's just you have to see exactly what can you do this year Christmas. Do you want to do the same thing like what you do every year or you want to just do something totally different this year and see? All right. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that's look at that black pepper. All right, thank you so much for watching, Chef. Um, Jamaica recipe queen, and um, yeah, girl, thank you so much. As I can see it for yourself, that is just something different. It's like a salmon cooked down in a like, and you know, what I mean, with a little bit of sweet and sour sauce, and you know, what I mean, yeah, it's something different, you know, what I mean, just try something different at home and hope you guys can enjoy it you know what i mean sometimes would i put on some red sauce but i don't have the red sauce so to put on top of it all right beautiful one thank you so much and i really appreciate every one of you guys who take the time and watch this on an amazing episode with chef ricardo this evening big up my um facebook audience who take the time and support chef ricardo i really appreciate it all right guys jamaica recipe queen good morning thank you so much for watching the show really appreciate it um esther lee thank you so much all right and all of my rest of my members thank you so much i appreciate it 100 percent. and i will definitely see you in the kitchen with more recipe all right 100 percent. so guys have a beautiful evening michi boot thank you so much i really appreciate it and i will see you in the kitchen with more recipe beautiful one jamaica recipe queen and i will see you next time bye bye